And did I seriously start without her? Yes, I did. Because that is the kind of week we are having. Hi, friends. We have not been on live all week, and I apologize. I also apologize for the fact that I look a little, what's the word Gemma would use? Knackered? <laughs> Haggard? Crazy? Here we are. Because have you ever had one of those weeks where pretty much everything that can go wrong goes wrong? That's the kind of week we're having. Maybe. We Hi. We weren't even going to go live. We had to decide if we were going to. Cause... We were like, we have no good advice to share. We are just here, flat out, we'll be straight honest with you, just to commiserate and hope that somebody else has had a week or a couple of weeks. Hi. Kind of like we've had. I don't even have any really good advice. <laughs> Feel free to log off Maybe now you if you want. Maybe you give us some advice. Because... Okay, so we We're have turning to the tell camera you. on you. We need some help. <laughs> Here's all the things we've cleaned off the floor today. P. P. Lots of it. Mm -hmm. Like not just like, oops, I didn't quite make it pee. Like what else? I've been waiting all night to go to the bathroom. That kind of, oh. <laughs> oh, what's that? Mine Purple are not bad. I still have glue inside my nail bed. I can't get out. We need your help. So I'll start over. We are, hi, we've missed you too, obviously. We should do more videos than less preschool. <laughs> Is that a thing? No. Um, oh, we were listing the things we've cleaned off the floor today. P. Purple ink, which I will show you in a minute. Slime. Lots of slime. Fluffy slime, actually. Dirt. <laughs> what else? That's about it. Yeah. That's about it. it. That's just today, though. So we had this great idea, as many of you do, that our plants unit should be totally hands-on, right? That's the only way to learn. Unless you're crazy, like us. <laughs> um, I water paint color paint never comes off. Oh, Rebecca, you just wait one minute until I show you where it is. Oh, you just wait. We had so many cool experiments up. Oh, let me just tell you about some of the cool experiments. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We planted grass seed. <laughs> that, to be fair, the other class we planted it with two classes. A couple of weeks ago, theirs is fine, and they get to. What take happened? The, oh. This is ten days. There is not. That's the seed. There's one, but that's, look, there is one blade of grass. That was the day we asked them to fill up their cups with dirt and come to the carpet. How many kids do you think poured their cup of dirt on the carpet? Mm -hmm. oh. So Jeez, we had, so much hi, nicer than mine. it does not. I look like I just got out of It's bed. been raining. We've had indoor recess. <laughs> Our hair is frizzy. The sensory table, it was full of dirt. <laughs> And we, we have, have white carpet. Not anymore. <laughs> now it's purple. <laughs> and shaving cream will not remove this. I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you the story in a minute. This is the. This is all we have to really share. We, did we mention we made fluffy slimes and we have no shaving foam left in the house? <laughs> That's true. We used it all today. Anyway, the guinea pig is in the sensory table now because halfway through the day, yesterday, in the morning, I said enough. Every time I turned my back, I had a couple of little friends. We thought it was funny because we had been all month using the soil, planting with the soil in the sensory mm -hmm. table. We had worms. We made roads with it. No, like real worms. Plastic. Um, but we, we've been doing great with it all month. We had 10 flowers and they were planting awesome. them. It was awesome. Yeah. And then I don't know what happened yesterday. Somebody just decided, a couple somebody's, that it would be funny to see if they could make like a dirt Rain. storm. Yeah. And Gemma was in the bathroom helping someone go to the bathroom. with the accident. Yeah. And I was, I had my back turned because you were helping you somebody else. Helping somebody else who was also having some issues. And then the next thing I know, all of that dirt was on my carpet. And it was kind of wet. And so when I tried to vacuum it up, it was it like, smeared it. Wait till you see, I will show you. Anyway, so I took it outside and dumped it out in our garden. And then I put the guinea pig up in there. Because why not? And she likes to look around. Okay. I'm so glad. See, we're just here to commiserate. If you missed the beginning, we don't have any or advice you, for you if today. If you want some advice, then you should just turn it off. <laughs> we don't have because any. We don't have any. We're just here to just tell you how crazy our week has been, and hopefully you guys can so, say we've been there too. Our grass, so, didn't, our grass grow. didn't grow. Our bulbs did grow. So we're growing irises, and they were just just the bulb. We just threw an iris in a, in a cup, cup of water. water. Just Those are doing water. well. But every time we turn our back, all the water is in one cup because I have a friend who likes to pour in down. Mm -hmm. So like there's one that's drowning and all the rest are dry. But I'm on top of that. They didn't even. Yeah. Okay. And then we had this experiment. We did the 
can't do you eat food see, you, 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 you plants you can plants eat plants you can eat right so Jay, no Jamie bought this lettuce, living lettuce living lettuce cool right the grocery store we could watch it grow it'd be so fun well every time we turn around they give a piece to the guinea pig it was like this big bowl full so, of lettuce this is all we have left and the kids keep feeding it to our pig so the guinea pig now smells really bad because she's probably got that much rotting lettuce in she's her She's eaten thing. like a whole lot of and lettuce And she keeps going into a little food coma over there. Uh, and we don't have very much lettuce now. And then, yes, for that. And oh, so we also beans. decided to plant beans. You know, we read Jack and the Beanstalk into the whole thing. Why aren't my beans growing? I've got a wet paper towel. They're zipped up. They're on we the window. We for our video. Why aren't they growing? What? This has been two weeks. What am I doing wrong? One of our friends did decide to see if, what happens if you squash them. Oh, th yeah, this is the only, it was up high. This one was up high. She was just like, uh, pop. <laughs> so we kept having to keep replant, the, or like we, every night the kids go home, we take out the broken ones and put new ones in. It's like a place in the fish. Okay. So here's, here's the, this, this, this is the, the this is the one I'm going to show. This is like the, this, the next thing I'm going to show you is like the icing, the icing on the cake. cake. The boy that purple icing on the cake. Or the, the hell in the coffin, or whatever, the whatever, whatever, whatever phrase you would like to use. Okay, so as I mentioned, we're doing all these hands-on, great plants ex experiments, and we decide to see about the celery, you know, to see how it drinks up. So we have this over at our science center. Um, you'll see it's empty right now. But it had purple water, liquid water color, purple that's water. that's the best of liquid water colors you because I didn't have purple food coloring, and I thought, oh, I'll throw some liquid water color. You can see it was really dark. Look how great our our uh, experiment turned out, right? Sitting over at the science cool. center. That science center, which is now empty, because right next to the science center is our block center. And do you know what's in the block center? Ramps. Ramps. And do you know what happens if you pick a ramp up and spin it around? It knocks the science center over. And so I'm gonna take the iPad, which is what we're doing it on, and I'm gonna show you what happened today. It was a total accident in, in defense. This, it was like an accident. It really was an accident. And it was probably our fault for having this sitting at the science center. But, hold on. You just wait till you see the beauty that's on my carpet. Yeah. Okay. She's Are you gonna do like a... Okay. Okay. Now you just wait. You. This is how our. Day, this is how our day has gone. Look at this. <laughs> it's huge. It is a huge. So I this is our science center. Splatter. All oh, of. Oh, oh, oh yeah. wait. Hold on. The camera's doing the thing. Yes. And so we had to move. It's even on the bottom of our science center. Yeah. And the bulletin. And you board. and the bulletin board. And it's on my shirt. Yeah. And uh huh. Hands. Oh, and my hands. Oh, and so that's why the guinea pig is up in the sensory table. <laughs> okay. And don't forget the, the carpet with the dirt. Oh right. So then this is all the this is the dirt where it spilled out. So it's this been, is disgusting. We've had a disgusting week. Okay, I'm gonna put the thing back on. Gemma's gonna she'll sing to you while I'm attaching yeah. the thing. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> not really in a singing mood. So during this disaster. Disaster. Yeah. Um, Jamie texted the carpet cleaner. I have them on speed dial. And said, we have... I have a carpet emergency! <laughs> yeah. And you know what they said? We'll be there in two hours. Don't put anything on it. We're like, it's too late. Because as soon as it spilled, we're like mopping it up with, with paper towels and baby wipes. And then I'm like, oh, I've got some spray. Some kids were coming over with magnifying glasses to take a bet on them. <laughs> they were like... <laughs> Carpet. And so while our nice friends are all, and they're all the like standing around, ah, they've got all their mag because I flipped the science center around, so now they're like free access to all the, the, <laughs> the um, so they've got their yeah, magnifying like, glass and <laughs> Gemma and I are like squirting it with resolve, <laughs> trying like, to wipe it. Stop being here, it's gonna get all over your skin. So I was like, forget it, we're just gonna block the area off with the guinea pig, and then we're like doing snack, and I, te I text the carpet cleaners and say, I have a carpet emergency and I showed them the picture and they texted back, we'll be there in two hours. Don't put anything on it. And I'm like, Oops. yo, 
Yeah, we already did. They're sending the penalty. They're sending like some expert guy. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna have to pay the penalty rate. Oh, and look at my hands. So anyway, I was not feeling, we were not feeling no. the love and the connection that we desire with our kids today. Because it was just, it was like, like we'd be doing something so fun, we'd be fine, right? Yeah. And then something would happen, like somebody needs help in the bathroom. So one of us would go, and then like well, whoever we left. It was anarchy. <laughs> I just want to say it was. And I have to just say, like if you're a parent watching, like listen, we're, this is par for the course and we're totally up for this and it happens every spring. It does. It, it just throws us off. Thing. Anyway. So I do want to. It's more that when something like this happens, when a purple emergency happens, that We've never you might just walk away from it. And right. Like, so then you stop cleaning up, and then that's the they notice that you're doing something. I have nice. it on my shirt. It's splattered. Look, it's splattered on She's my never shirt. Done that. <laughs> and then the kids all leave, and Gemma's drinking her coffee, which she hasn't touched oh, yeah. all day. I haven't. I was. I took the top off it. I've got a really good cup that keeps it nice and warm. So really I take good. the top off it, and I look in it. I was like, there's glitter there's in my coffee. <laughs> she has two little flecks of glitter inside her coffee. How does that even happen? We and didn't I, even have coffee. And the sad thing is, I was really debating, just thinking, I just drink it. But I didn't, so I'm like, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's how our week is going. I apologize, we just haven't had like great, I don't know, we haven't feeling like we've got all this great advice to give because we're struggling we're ourselves. Tired, right. So we would love to hear like, if you ever struggle, Make I feel know. like it's not just us. It's, not, it's definitely not just you. I hope it's not just us. Um, yeah, we would just love to hear. I will tell you, I, I hate to come on a video and not have any advice. So I have one little thing that did feel really good today. So, you know, we love Dr. Becky we, Bailey. We've had good days. Oh, yeah. It's just they've been, they've been had good days with a sprinkle of disaster every now and again. It's like just little crises here and there, right? And so it makes everything feel really disjointed and kind of frantic. Mm. Do you ever have days like that? Like, they, they, we've got great, we have great center set up yeah. and great art. Hands-on stuff. All kinds of good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's like little, like... And one moment changes it so quickly. Like little fires to put out everywhere. Not real fires. But do you know what I mean? Like just little... You know, the kids just kind of act up. So does that ever happen to you guys? Um, we are so real, Pam, that people are not even going to want to watch us anymore. They're going to be like... <laughs> those two. Like, we don't even have makeup on anymore. It's bad. Remember how great we looked in September? <laughs> or even this morning. I it will be better, today. yeah. Um... So the one thing that, that always resonates with me, I love to listen to Dr. Becky Bailey from Conscious Discipline talk about connecting with our students and about what to do when they're, because it's their brains, like just literally like being like, you know, and she describes almost like a hand clapper, like, you know, they get so worked up and especially in the spring. And one of the things that she um, taught us was the, were these I love you rituals. Are you familiar with this? It's not a sales pitch. I don't have any, I bought them myself. It's not, I don't have any, what's the word, horse in this race? Uh, yeah, nothing on conscious discipline, but there's a song on here that's called um, I like to be with you. I like to be with you. Ooh. And so whenever I'm feeling like <laughs> like just dis disconnected or like you know it's just frantic, mm -hmm. we like to just like bring everybody together. And I put the little song on. It's like time for a hug now. And they all hug. And they all hug you and they hug each other. And it's mm -hmm. like let's hold hands and sway together now. Ooh time for a hug now and they're all like hugging and you can almost feel their hearts you know because they get so worked up when when they're you know spring and they're excited and mm -hmm. things are kind of going a little hey, why? crazy yeah. um and you this will be known as the purple celery day forever this is purple week purple celery day purple celery day we should take a day off next year <laughs> for to, in the anniversary of purple celery day we can still remember it because that mark is still going to be on my carpet <laughs> Forever, even with the expert carpet cleaners. <laughs> um, but so you can almost like feel their hearts racing and their breath gets really fast. You know, they're like, it's just, it's just a lot of energy in the room. And we put this music on and you can feel them physically calming down. So, yes. Yes, it's just, it's tough when there's a lot of little fires to put on. And we have a really small class. So I know some of you are doing this with like 20, 20. kids. My hat goes off to you. We love your tips and tricks. Mm. Um, but anyway, that's the kind of week we're having. Thank you for just humoring us on a Friday afternoon. 
And next um, week we'll have something constructive to tell you. Next, so I get, this is my favorite time of year. But we're doing insects and butterflies in May, starting next week. And here's what I have ordered for our classroom. You're glad you have no carpets. Listen. When we're cleaning up the floor, I'll tell you what we ordered in a minute, but when we're down on the, our hands and knees cleaning up the floor and the kids are all standing with their magnifying glasses <laughs> watching us, what are you doing, Miss Jamie? Cleaning up the purple link. Um, and literally the, com the comment I have is like, do you think I should just go to Home Depot this afternoon and just order different floor? <laughs> like, do you think I should just go? We should just rip it out and put down vinyl. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I don't know about that. Do you think today's the day we need to get new carpet or new vinyl? <laughs> That was exactly what I yeah. said. Forget it. We're not cleaning it up. I'm just going to go to the Home Depot and buy vinyl. Why are your socks white when they're dirty? I, I've, I've done, done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, hey, um, Cynthia. Hi. Hi, you guys. Um, so what we're doing next week is we've ordered insects. We have um, caterpillars coming from Insect Lore. They are the Painted Lady Butterfly Caterpillars, which are so much fun to watch go through their metamorphosis. Um, we also have ordered ladybug larva, so that's really fun, especially for our pre-K kids, to compare how the ladybug goes through its life cycle to the way that the caterpillar goes through its life cycle. Ants? We're having an ant farm. They're not on the same day. Gemma was like, you didn't do that all on the same day. And I'm like, no, we spaced it out. So we're going to do an ant farm. And then from the pet store, I like to pick up crickets so they can observe an insect up close and you don't have to worry about, you know, you don't have to worry about it because it's just a cricket. Um, and except me, you I always she didn't get freaked out by the crickets. Oh, like when, when they, they die. I mean, like I'm buying them to save their lives. They would normally be reptile food, right? Sure. That you can get them at the pet store. They're like I don't know, ten for a dollar or twelve for a dollar or something. And I always feel like I'm rescuing them. Mm -hmm. I don't feel bad about it until because... they know where they're going. <laughs> they're like, I'd rather be eaten by a reptile. <laughs> All these bugs that are being sent out to us all have this conversation with each other before like not the preschool. we're going to the preschool room wish us luck <laughs> i feel like i'm rescuing the crickets i feel like i'm doing a good deed so we haven't had an ant farm for a really it's long, been a long time. time because the, it was the very first year we have we've had lots of insects but not ant farm because one of our little girls picked up the ant farm and shook it and it was like, like toy story 3 massacre <laughs> um and then we're also getting um mealworms which are Gemma's total favorite because um, the kids they're really hardy and they turn into yeah. beetles which is really I cool. I try and be brave when I'm playing they're awesome. with them. So we have five I and I want yeah. the kids to touch them too so if I'm squeamish they're not going to touch them but it's not my favorite thing. We will set the crickets free. Yes yeah, so that's the thing. I rescue if them from the pet store. If we have any left. They get to observe them and then we take them out and set them free for sure. We, um, we keep the mealworms to go through their life cycle. We keep the mm -hmm. ladybugs and the and caterpillars we have a until they go through the butterfly release day. Yes. I put the crickets in uh, one of those little it's bug like a, boxes. Or like a fish tank thing, isn't it? Yeah, like one of those plastic things with the lid on the top, you know. Um, somebody asked about this. It's from Becky Bailey. It's called I Love You Rituals. This is number two um, by Dr. Becky Bailey. I'll leave a link. But anyway, that's all. We hope you guys have a great weekend. My carpet cleaner guy is going to be here in a minute to try to get out. I think purple. we should set up one of those hidden cameras so we can see his face when he sees it. Or just a microphone and he'll be like, what the heck was going on down here? Nothing. Don't you wonder what people think when they what come down? What happens preschool today is a preschool, right? <laughs> they did text me, do you know what that is? And I was like, I do. Do you want to know what that is? you want to just try, try to come and get it out? <laughs> Sorry. And I did the little monkey face with the, like, <laughs> in the text. We'll give you an update next week of how, if it worked. We'll put a before and after picture for you. Um, have a great weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry we didn't have great tips or tricks, but it is really nice to hear from all of you. And, and we, we miss you guys. We miss you. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.